One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. All this week, we are marking the 50th anniversary of the first moon landing. And here's a question for you. When you think of an astronaut, what do you see? The odds you're imagining someone weightless floating in space. Zero gravity, though, can take a serious toll on the human body. And minimizing those effects will be a key part of space travel in the future. Vicodopia has more. And you can see the parachute coming down. And it was a landing that felt like a crash, but for Canadian astronaut Bob Thursk, that wasn't the worst part. I felt like a wet dish rag on landing day. In space, astronauts' bodies go through an unearthly ordeal. They work out daily to counter the effects of low gravity on their muscles, but it's never enough. I wanted to exercise, do that little bit extra exercise, so that I was, I was the Iron Man on, on landing day. Didn't happen. Weightlessness takes a toll on the human body. Researchers are getting a better idea of how much of a toll. This lab works with volunteers and astronauts developing new technologies, measuring the damage caused by weightlessness, pushing blood upwards to the head. And we found that arteries get stiffer by quite a bit while they're in space. In, in fact, um, in six months in space, the arteries get stiffer by the equivalent of about 20 years of aging. With the muscle and artery damage in space also comes changes to bone marrow, which is being studied by another Canadian team. So it kind of reverses your normal uh, forces of gravity. It's not like being in space, but it's a good model for it. This doctor is trying to counteract that effect by working with German researchers on this, a centrifuge that spins test subjects. It creates a pull similar to gravity, and exercising while spinning counteracts the effects of low gravity. You may have seen the concept before in the movies, which is not far off from what might be our reality. So if the studies that we're carrying in Germany now uh, are conclusive, that could well be part of the design of the future uh, spacecraft to Mars. Artificial gravity won't solve all the problems of longer space travel. There's still the extended exposure to solar radiation and also the unknown cognitive and psychological effects of spending more time in space. Astronauts' bodies will have to endure a lot. We need to build up a bit more knowledge and before we can send people to Mars. We do not know if the uh, damage will continue to progress at the same rate or if there's going to be a plateau at one point. As space exploration takes astronauts deeper into the galaxy, it'll open up new frontiers not just for human travel but for human health.